this is Myra Elaine from the Buying Space Channel. Today, I'm recycling and reusing. Uh, the medications that came out of these bottles are going to go into a pharmacy that has a large box in, next to the pharmacy that you can take your pills so they can be responsibly disposed of. But all the bottles. Now, I did find out where I live, I can recycle these bottles. You have to take off the caps, but you can recycle the bottles. So, I did Google, and it turns out that the Jacksonville Humane Society takes old prescription bottles with the caps. And they use them to take care of the animals. And if they don't have prescription bottle donations, what happens is they have to buy containers to take care of the animals that are about this size. So these are perfect for what they're using to take care of the animals for. The uh, pictures had more, you know, this cap uh, with the plain. Uh, brown uh, tubing, but I think they'll be able to use all these. Um, the only thing that's a pain is I have to remove all the labels or get to the, poor, to the point where they're not recognizable because I don't want uh, my family's personal information um, passed on. These are uh, medicine bottles from expired medications and medications that weren't used because a family member was in and out of the hospital. And while they were in the hospital, the hospital gave them medications. Uh, so we had a surplus. I do have some that are completely unopened. And I'm going to see if I can send them back to the pharmacy. Um, and it's a mail order pharmacy, so it's a little trickier. But, um, you know, there's no reason since those medicines aren't expired that they shouldn't be returned because they're sealed. These medications here, make sure I got my hand wrapped around that good so you can't see, have a, a foil seal. And the foil seal is not broken on a, more than a few bottles. And I want to see if I can return those. Uh, but the rest of these have been, were the seals were broken or they didn't have seals, seals to start with. Uh, these are really neat bottles. I hope they can use these because this is a two-sided lid. I never in my days seen this. So this could be used, I don't know, this could even be made into like a, a, a bird feeder. Getting that in the shot or not. I le intentionally left the uh, light dim uh, because of privacy issues. But see how that ties both bottles together? And it usually sits, whoops. Mm. See, here's one bottle. Put the cap on the one bottle. But you can add another bottle on top like that and what the purpose of that is I don't know because these bottles did not come together when they came to me <laughs> so um, anyway that's uh, something neat I had never seen in uh, prescription bottles uh, if anybody out there knows um, or has used bottles like that um, let me know but now I've got to peel all of these labels off and uh, that's going to be part of what I'm doing on New Year's also will be shredding and I, I have done shredding videos before where I put the shred down in the can and it acts funny um, but anyway I've got to get busy removing these labels and don't send me ideas about removing the labels I'm just going to use my nails I'm not going to use water on these. When they go to the Humane Society, they probably clean them again as far as cleaning out 
the inside to get rid of the medicine residue. And um, I would rather take the time and peel them off than um, use the water to do this um, because we only have so much water on the planet too. So just a little bit of elbow, elbow grease and I can get the private information off of these and help the animals. Have a wonderful and blessed day, everyone.